Now with the star of the critically acclaimed comedy horror series, What We Do in the Shadows. It's based on Taika Waititi's film of the same name and follows a group of vampires who live on Staten Island. Harvey Guillen is joining us now. Good morning, Harvey. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing I'm doing great. And you know, this this may be your breakout role, but you've wanted to be an actor since you were just six years old. And you actually decided this is what you wanted to do while watching Annie on TV. It's true. I was watching Annie and I was six years old and I saw these kids dancing and singing and I looked over at my mom and I said, Mom, I want to be that. I want to be an orphan. And she looked at me weird <laughs> and she said, ¿Qué? ¿Estás loco? Are you crazy? I was like, no, I want to be that. Oh, son actores, they're actors. I was like, then I want to be an actor. <laughs> uh, that, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure you scared mom. You said an orphan. If, if we're here in Times Square, you know, Broadway, we're on Broadway. You do have a musical background. Is there a Broadway show you dream of starring in so we can see your name up in the lights here? I, I mean, I would love to do a Broadway show, originate a Broadway show, you know, but if I had to do something that's been done in the past, maybe a gender bender, maybe instead of funny girl, funny boy, you know, yeah. I could be funny boy. <laughs> you got people in here laughing. I think you can do it. <laughs> it, it. Let's talk about your show, What We Do in the Shadows. Your character, Guillermo, is a human who helps vampires adopt, adapt to modern life, but they discovered last season he's actually a vampire slayer. And we know you are a fan of the original vampire slayer, Sarah Michelle Geller, and you want her to guest star, but what would you want to see her do? I mean, Sarah Michelle, if you're watching, I think you should come and, like, teach Guillermo your ways, you know? I mean, what other slayer than Sarah Michelle Geller to teach a new, and you know, new baby Guillermo de la Cruz, Van Helsing, to be a slayer? So, Sarah, if you're watching, come on down. Sarah, there's the call, the casting call for Sarah Michelle Geller's right there. Now, let's take a look at a clip of the show. Check it out. I mean, I should really just consider escaping and leaving, never coming back. Especially because they're considering, you know, killing me. <laughs> but I just wonder what would happen if I wasn't here to help them out. They're like family. I know, codependent much. <laughs> it, it, you're, you're, you are a fan favorite on the series, but when you went into the audition, this character it was envisioned totally different, including 20 years older. So how did you make them your own? You know, I went in thinking I, I'm too young for this role, so I got to age myself out. So I found this really gross orange sweater and a brown sweater vest, and I parted my hair in the middle and I curled it and got these Harry Potter glasses and popped the lenses out. <laughs> and I said, if this doesn't make me look ridiculous and old, I don't know what will. And, you know, I went into the audition. Two hours later, they called and said they unanimously voted to test me. I never tested. I got a call over the weekend. Tyke and Jermaine just picked up the phone and said, hey, is this Javi? And I was like, yeah, hey, it's Tyke and Jermaine. And I go, yes, I'm testing for you. No, you're not testing. And I was like, oh, I didn't get it. They're like, no, you got it. We'll see you on set next week. And I, I, I just life changed. You know, I was, uh, got the call on Sunday. Uh, it was Martin Luther King weekend on uh, holiday on Monday. Tuesday, I had a fitting. And Wednesday, I was on set. Wow, well, and we're all happy that you went out of your way to make sure that that happened with the glasses and the parted hair and the <laughs> curls. We're all benefiting from it. Harvey, thank you so much for joining us, my friend. Thank you for having me. Always good seeing you. Always great seeing you. Season three of What We Do in the Shadows premieres Thursday on FX.